today we will talk about the hydrosphere. The word hydrosphere means about what bodies. And the example of what bodies are ocean, sea, lakes, river, pond, etc. So in hydrosphere, first we will learn water cycle. So in water cycle, from the water bodies, the, the water vapor rises up. So that process is known as the evaporation. And from this water vapor, the clouds are formed. So that process is known as condensation. And when the clouds get heavy, so they do rain. So that part process is known as precipitation. And that, that then is runoff. Now we will talk about the oceans. So they are uh, the uh, the earth seventy percent surface is covered by what oceans or water. Now there are five types of ocean: Pacific Ocean, uh, Atlantic Ocean, Arctic Ocean, Indian Ocean, and Southern Ocean. Pacific Ocean. Pacific Ocean is the largest ocean, and the Pacific word means peaceful area, and it uh, covers one third part on the Earth's surface. And the deepest point of the uh, Pacific Ocean is Mariana Trench. And uh, inside the Pacific, under the Pacific Ocean, there are some volcanoes which erupts. Uh, so it looks uh, in a part. So it looks like a ring of fire. And uh, the earthquake chances are much more. And the Pacific Ocean is located in east. There is uh, South America and North America. And in the west, there is Asia and Australia. Now Atlantic Ocean. Atlantic Ocean is the second largest ocean and it looks like an S shape and it is very busiest for trading. And it is located between in east there is Africa and Europe and in west there is North America and South America and in north there is Greenland. Now uh, Indian Ocean. Indian Ocean is the third largest ocean named after India and it is located between in the south in south there is southern ocean and in north there is Asia and in east there is Australia and in west there is Africa. Now southern ocean. Southern ocean is also known as Antarctic Ocean. Antarctic Ocean is uh, covered from the ice and the animal live there are polar bears. So the benefits of the oceans are like cloud regula regulation, uh, transporting, food, medicine, economic, etc. So there is a blue economic, so their effects are uh, like human resource, uh, renewable, uh, renewable energy, uh, marine trade, marine fisheries, marine tourism, oil, gas, mineral, etc. Now we will talk about the Gulf, Ocean and Sea. So Gulf, Gulf is surrounded by land from three sides. Ocean, ocean, has, ocean is the largest water, water boundary, water body and sea. Sea is uh, uh, surrounded by land from two sides. Now we will talk about the tide. So the increasing and the decreasing in the water level twice in a day is known as tide and there are two types of tide spring tide and neap tide so in spring tide the, the it's uh, the it occurs when it's go at the new moon or the full moon so the the moon and the sun is in the same direction the gravitational pull will be high so that will cause high tide and in neap tide the, the uh, it occurs when the moon Go to the third quarter or the first quarter. So the pull by the sun is known as solar tide and the pull by the moon is known as lunar tide. So the it's in the right, right angle and the this cause uh, this will cause a low tide. Thank you.